Quoting from his writing, I think the batteries are not made right. Sometimes there is more of North Pole magnets than there is South Pole magnets. They should be equal. The same is from generators which do not run the South Pole magnets in frame or base, but run directly away the same as they run the North Pole magnets. Ed feels the batteries are unbalanced. The batteries have more negative plates than positive plates and opposite polarities attract, so he believes the magnetic particles coming in from the environment give the battery additional positive particles from the environment. From the following experiment, you will see that the battery is not balanced right. Put the copper wire across the box, one end east, the other end west. Connect one lead a foot west from east end and the other lead with west end. Hang a magnet in spider web. Put the magnet in the same level with the copper wire. Keep the copper wire end a little away from magnet's north pole. Connect east lead with positive terminal and tap the negative terminal several times with loose clip and see what the magnet is doing. Change the terminal. Change the tapping. Move the box and copper wire to the south pole end. Repeat the same thing. Then you will notice sometimes the copper wire end pushes away the north pole magnet and sometimes it pulls it in. And the same thing happens with the south pole magnet. And sometimes it does nothing. So it shows the matter is irregular. It is showing the movements of the magnet are random, even when the polarity has changed. Connect the leads with batteries terminals to make a loop. Keep the leads on the same level with battery. Drag a hanging magnet over the loop in the connections between the battery terminals. You will see that one end of the magnet keeps inside the loop and the other outside. And the same thing happens when the magnet crosses a connection between the terminals. This experiment indicates that the north and south pole magnet currents are not only running from one terminal to the other, but are running around in an orbit and are not only running one time around, but are running many times around until the north and south pole individual magnets get thrown out of the wire by centrifugal force and by crowding. While the north and south pole magnets were in their own terminals, they only possessed pushing power. The pulling power they acquire only if the other kind of magnets are in front of them, like the permanent magnets if you put the opposite magnet in front of it. Then they will hold together, the same way you have done with the six inch long pieces of copper and soft iron wire. It is showing the magnetic particles are flowing in an orbit when the circuit is complete and have an attraction for each other. From the experiment with the car battery, you can see the principle how permanent magnets are made by north and south pole individual magnet currents running in a single wire from battery. How did the magnets get in there? As I said in the beginning, the north and south pole magnets, they are a cosmic force. They hold together this earth and everything in it. Some metals and non-metals have more of the magnets than others. It has shown how permanent magnets are made from a single copper wire and a battery. Ed believes that the magnetic particles come from the sun and enter all matter. Ed also believes all matter is held together with the magnetic particles. Some matter have more magnetic particles than others, but they all have magnetic behavioral properties, whether they are a ferrous metal or a paramagnetic or diamagnetic. They all exhibit magnetic behaviors. The North and South Pole magnets have the power to build up and take down. For instance, in welding, the magnets take the welding rod down and put it on the welding. In electroplating, they put one metal on the other. And if you burn metal too much in an electric furnace, the metal will disappear in the air. To summarize, one, because car batteries have more negative plates than positive plates, Ed feels the batteries are unbalanced. Two, Ed feels matter in batteries are random and unpredictable. Three, Ed shows the magnetic particles are running in an orbit through the wire and the battery. Four, 
Ed believes that the magnetic particles come from the sun and enter all matter. Ed also believes all matter is held together with the magnetic particles. Some matter has more magnetic particles than others, but they all have magnetic behavioral properties, whether they are ferrous metals or paramagnetic or diamagnetic. They all exhibit magnetic behaviors. 5. Ed says North and South Pole magnets build matter up and take matter apart. We will be continuing the experiments in Episode 7. There is no dark side in the moon, really. Matter of fact, it's all dark. 